Kalere is a neighborhood within Kampala, Uganda's capital and largest city. Kalere is a busy roadside marketplace beyond which is a residential slum. Due to its relative low altitude compared to the surrounding hills and its proximity to a wetland, the area is prone to flooding. Kalere merges with its immediate slum neighborhood to the southwest, Boise. One may argue that Kalere is part of Boise. Human settlement in Kalere started in the 1970s, around which time trade and other economic activities were thriving in the area. The name of the settlement, Kalere, came from the railway line that used to pass through a section of this settlement. Landmarks that can guide people finding their way to the settlement include, among others, Kalere Market, Mawanda Road, and Gaza Road. Kalere settlement extends to cover approximately 30 acres of land, all this land is all owned by private individuals. Mkwayapo, the chairman, Dobizon Makere III, Kalere, says that there is too much congestion in the area and this has made or created room for disease outbreak like cholera, but he says that they have tried to set up preventive measures to ensure that the community isn't affected by diseases. Mbeeranga tuli mugoteko ne ngakufa bakulembeze tufuba nyo kulaba ati tugezako okolo obuyonjo abantu bafe babere bachi babere bala mukuba nyumba za kutuna zaaji we are highly congested. But as leaders, we are trying to see that our people are healthy. Previously, we had cases of cholera, outbreaks, and government has not helped us in treatment and garbage collection. <laughs> The chairman still says government should help in setting up better trenches and also believes government should check on the issue of garbage and he advises the houses need clear planning since the congestion has been brought by poor housing structures. We ask government to help us manage the garbage as well as our issues of the trenches that tend to flood once it rains and also our houses 
have no plans like the other houses in more established societies. The word slum is often used to describe informal settlements within cities that have inadequate housing and squalid, miserable living conditions. They are often overcrowded with many people crammed into very small living spaces. Some of the residents settled in the area say that some of the key challenges they face is the flooding during rains as they lose property and their children are displaced as they say the commodity prices as well have made life difficult. <laughs> It's always good when there is no rainfall. As once it pours, it becomes difficult for us to move since the whole area floods and so ghetto has become hard since even the houses are highly charged. Soap is expensive here and we even have issues with toiletries and all I can say, the ghetto has got worse. Some say government initiatives like Emioga have helped them develop and start up small businesses. However, still their savings are still less, but they try to make ends meet since they are limited jobs on the market. We thank the president for the Emilga funds and started up for our businesses. For example, we started our maths meeting and we want to save to buy some plots of land to avoid over-renting, but we pray government helps us with some more funds. In Kalere, even education is worse as most parents can't afford better education and the only solution schools have just like the headmaster of St. Paul Preparatory School reveals that parents pay in installments in order to see their children have education. The twin school school fees structure. Kubanga omuzad de tumukwa tanga boazi. Tosobola kusaba muntu eh sente za tasobola kuwa. Katwalu muzad da inzo okuja na yina mount za sobola. We have no school fees structure. We just try to accommodate every parent. And so, we decide to receive school fees in installments, and we use the same to pay the teachers. Singapore we don't have any other word. Income. Slum settlement comes at a time when the city of Kampala is experiencing unprecedented growth in the history of Uganda.
This growth and expansion is visible through the mushrooming of informal settlements across the different divisions of Kampala, especially in the low-lying areas of the city. As informal and often illegal housing, slums are often defined by unsafe and or unhealthy homes, overcrowded homes, limited or no access to basic services like water, toilets, electricity, transportation.